Thank you so much for joining this lesson. We shall be discussing the ratio theorem together with its application in proportional division of lines. Look at this question. A point Q, negative 1, 5, negative 6, divides a B in the ratio 3 is to 5 externally. Given that the coordinates of A are 2, negative 4, 3, calculate the coordinates of B. Before we get into this question, I'll first outline the ratio theorem, just the general overview of the ratio theorem, the one that we apply to work out these questions. Just assume that we are having points P, U, then this line is being divided externally by a point X in the ratio M is to N. In this case, we will talk about the point X being calculated using the proportions M. We pick this proportion. Then we divide by total proportions in this line, M plus N. When we pick M, we're supposed to multiply by the opposite vector, which is now Q, plus we take the ratio N, divide by total proportions. This now multiplies the opposite vector. So when you pick N, we should multiply by P. That's now generally the ratio theorem. This is what we shall apply. We shall apply it in solving the question above. So we have a point Q. The coordinates are given. It divides externally AB in the ratio 3 is to 5. Now, it's good for you to know that when the division is external, it's either mentioned that it is external or the ratio is allocated a negative at some point. So you could otherwise have been told that the ratio is 3 is to negative 5. Now, this ratio means the same as externally in the ratio 3 is to 5. So they mean the same. They can either state the negative or introduce the word externally. The ratios mean the same. Now we can out, outline the question here. When the ratio is 3 is to negative 5, it means that uh, from point A, assuming that A is here, to the point that divides AB, and the point is Q, the point Q, we have three proportions. Then now because the division is external, from Q to the point B, we move in the opposite direction. So we've moved three points to point Q, but now from Q to point B, it shall be in the reverse direction. Let me show you. It shall be in the reverse direction, this way. Reverse direction, but five units now. It means we are going beyond A. So this is where B shall be that way. Meaning, if we had moved three units, and now backwards we are moving five complete units, we shall cover the three and add two more, meaning that we have two proportions at that point. Therefore, whereas Q divides AB externally, now we can see some more details that point A, which is now at the mid, is dividing BQ internally in the ratio 2 is to 3. And then we can apply the ratio theorem and say the coordinates of A which are known to be 2, negative 4, 3. These coordinates of A shall be found by, we take the first proportion, which is 2, divided by all the proportions, which are 5. And now that you've picked 2, then we shall multiply by the opposite vector, that is Q. The coordinates of Q are given, negative 1, 5, negative 6. Plus, we pick the other proportion, which is 3. Then we multiply by the opposite vector, which is B. And B has coordinates that are unknown. So we can let them in three dimensions be X, Y, Z that way. With this, now we can get the values of all the unknowns now. Using the X component, we can say 2 equals 2. Uh -huh. 2 over 5 multiplied by negative 1 shall be negative 2 over 5, then plus 3x 
we can now remain with 3x at this point. Then we have 2 plus 2 over 5 that way. So how do you remain with x? We divide by 3. So when you divide by 3, you'll be getting 0 0.8. So we get 2 and 2 over 5, meaning that the value of x shall be, we divide by 3, 0 0.8. We proceed to the y coordinates, negative 4 equals to 2 over 5 by 5, giving us exactly 2 plus 3 y. So we can now group terms and have negative 6 being equal to 3y. Then we can remain with the value of y by dividing 2 by 3. This gives us negative 2. Then we proceed to z, whereby we have 3 equals 2. Negative 2 over 5 by negative 6. This will be negative 12 over 5 plus 3, the value of z. Now this shall be... 3 plus 12 over 5, giving us 5 and 2 over 5, equal to 3, the value of z. So we can remain with the value of z when we divide it through by 3. This gives us 1.8. So now that we have x, y, z, we can write the coordinates of b as... 0 0.8, negative 2, 1.8. So that's how we determine the coordinates of their known points when ratio theorem is involved. Thank you so much for following. Remember to subscribe and share. Remember to purchase your airtime, any amount or any network, Airtel, Telcom, Safaricom, just going to your M-Pesa, Lipa na M-Pesa. The pay bill number is 73, 7356. And the account number is the phone number that you're purchasing the airtime for. You complete the transaction. The airtime is reflected instantly. Thank you. See you next time.